Hi guys, today's video is, I'm not sure what to call it. I'm just gonna say that it's a stuck at home in quarantine look that I came up with because I'm not going anywhere after this. Um, but this is a simple matte eye look with a bold lip, which I haven't done in a while in my videos. So I thought I would do something like that. I kind of wanted to do like a peachy eye look, but that didn't happen with the colors I picked out. So yeah, this is a look that was super easy to do, especially on the eyes and most of the boldness comes from the lip. Um, today I used the ColourPox, ColourPop Luxe Velvet Liquid Lip. Um, and I like this lip color because it's still bold, but it feels really comfortable and it's not as bright as um, other red lips would be. So I kind of like it because it's not too, too, too out there, but it's still bright enough for this look. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. So my eyes are already primed. I just used my Dose of Colors concealer as an eye base today. Um, I'm going to be using two palettes for this matte look. Um, I have already done one eye off camera. It's most, for the most part, it's done already, but um, I'm going to go in with this first eyeshadow palette. This is from Boxy Charms Box of March this month. So it's a pretty colorful palette, but I'm just gonna stick with the kind of neutral matte shades. Uh, first shade I'm gonna use is this one called Spoiler. And I'm gonna apply this one into my crease as a transition color or blending color. This color is pretty light, so I have to build this up quite a bit for some color to show on my crease. So I need to add a little bit of dimension into the crease. I'm gonna go in with this shade called Cup of Joe. It's a pretty, it's like a matte kind of light coffee color, I wanna say. Um, Cup of Joe, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna take it in this brush right here and I'm just gonna pack it into the crease first and then I'm gonna blend it in after. I'm just gonna go back in with that fluffy brush that we first used and I'm gonna blend the edges so that it kind of diffuses the look. I'm not adding on any additional product though. Just using whatever I have on this brush already. Now I'm gonna go in with this Buxom Boss Babe Betty eyeshadow palette. Um, pretty much a warm toned palette. Um, I'm only gonna use one shade though and it's gonna be this shade right here called Work. And this is pretty much on the lash line and also the outer V. I'm just gonna take my Fenty Beauty eyeshadow 240 brush. And I'm gonna start off with the outer V and then I'm gonna drag this in to the lash line. When I apply it, I'm actually gonna wing it out. So it's gonna look kind of messy at first, but it'll become a little bit clean when I go back in with my under eye concealer. For the lip color now, I'm gonna go back in with that BoxyCharm palette. Um, I don't want it to be super white, like a super bright lid, so I'm not gonna go for this one. I'm gonna go for this one right here. This is called Premium. Um, on camera, it looks more yellow. It's more of a cream color um, in person. So that's gonna be the lid color. I'm gonna take this on a shader brush. This is from, a, this is from Sigma, this is the E55. And I'm just gonna pack this on to the lid. And then from there, I'm gonna go back in with work from the Buxom palette. And I'm gonna 
apply that back in and kind of blend those two colors together and also bring that color back onto the lash line. Now I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I am going to curl my lashes first and then I'm gonna tight line with a brown liner. So I'm gonna take my NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner. This is in the color Mambo. It's just a brown liner. I'm gonna tight line my eye before I apply mascara. Now taking my mascara today, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. For lashes today, I'm gonna stick with my go-to natural glam um, eyelashes. These are the Huda Beauty Samantha lashes. These lashes are some of my favorites to wear when I'm doing like a look like this, like something really simple, nothing too dramatic, um, just because the band is so thin and it still is more on the naturalish side on the lash spectrum I would say but it's it's long enough to give you that nice volume and quote glam look still so I'm gonna go for these today okay I'm gonna do my base off camera and I'll be back to finish off the look with the lips. I wanted to do simple eyes, more bold lip. Today I'm going to be using the ColourPop Lux Velvet um, Liquid Lip. This is called Daily Dose. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe and keeping yourselves busy by doing something productive. Um, all of the products that I have worn on this look will be listed in the description box, including the base products that I have on as well. Um, I didn't want to include it in this video just because it's kind of like a repeat of what I've been doing in my past videos. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment box and... I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.